football's first spring training games are scheduled for this weekend. It's a great sign that even with the global pandemic, baseball has carried on for generations. Mm, can't wait to hear the crack of the bat coming from in there. The team vows this year will be the last as the Indians, renewing calls for the team to embrace names of the past. In this News 5 original, our Kevin Berry shows us how one architect is allowing us to travel back through baseball history. If walls could talk, we know this one would have a lot to tell us. It helped move fans from the street level to their seats for years in Cleveland's League Park. Today, except for the ticket house turned museum, it's one of the last pieces of the original ballpark that's still standing roughly a century after its heyday. The world outside, though, on East 66th and Lexington looks a lot different. Baseball, unlike any other sport, uh, has really been the glue of society, you know, the 100 plus years that it's passed and it's seeing and witnessed a lot of change. That's why Brian Power says baseball is well suited for the moment we face right now. It's witnessed two global pandemics, generations of protests for racial justice, and even a few name changes for Cleveland's baseball team. And yet, the sport brought us through every summer. So Powers, who's a baseball historian, but also an architect, is helping us see a league park few people alive have ever experienced. I was able to view uh, the original linen drawings, you know, for League Park. I mean, these were the actual ink on linen. That extensive research helps him create pictures and videos like these, revealing the quirks of a ballpark built by engineers who were still testing out new ideas for sports venues. It led to a bathroom with a view of the diamond, a massive right field fence, and a dumb waiter to get food and drinks from the concession stands to the fans. I love to be able to kind of look at the details and say, okay, this is where the dugout was. You can see where the players actually entered the tunnel you know, to access the clubhouses. This new experience comes at a moment when Cleveland is thinking about its baseball past. I'm excited for the future. Um, I'm in love with the team. I'm not in love with the iconography or the name. Michael um, McFarland has been leading the charge to rename the Indians to be the Spiders when the team changes the name this offseason. Just like Brian, Michael's passion comes from the history. That was the name we won our first championship under. That was that was the team that Cy Young spent the most of his career with. Um, that was where professional sports really got started here in Cleveland, and we were winners. So, uh, you know, let's let's get back to that. Soon, he'll be able to see the inside of the ballpark that made it all possible. Being able to stand uh, on the pitcher's mound at League Park and look around and see what it was like, that um, uh, I get a little emotional just thinking about it. Baseball's nostalgic. You know, you want to be able to capture those emotions. That's the beauty of the sport. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Bell.